While law enforcement continues looking for leads in this case, celebrities along with athletes have also shown their support on social media. All of it to help the family of Jasmine Barnes and to help find her killer. That includes pro basketball Hall of Famer Shaquille O'Neal and an HPD officer helping the girl's family. Our Brandon Walker has more on those efforts. Uh, it touched me deeply. There isn't much Houston police officer Kenneth Miles hasn't seen over the 23 years he's worn a badge. Yet the shooting death of seven year old Jasmine Barnes shook him. Even really hurts because we don't know yet who did it. Indeed. Also, a little girl defenseless in the car with her mom and sisters. It didn't make sense, says Officer Miles, who talked at length with a friend about Jasmine's story. Now, he and I talked about it and just imagine if it was one of our children. That friend, Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, he had mentioned to me that we should do something special just to try to ease the, the load for, for the family. The two paid for Jasmine's funeral, did so today. I just thought it was the right thing to do. Shaq speaking by phone on Jasmine, her family, and loss, unimaginable loss. If you could say something to the parents of Jasmine Barnes, what would you say to them? I mean, I, 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 mean, I wouldn't really know what to say because I definitely don't know how they feel. But I would definitely say I'm uh, sorry for their loss. My condolences to their family. And Texans wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins also helping the family of Jasmine Barnes. He sent out this tweet earlier today pledging his playoff check to help Jasmine's family pay for her funeral expenses and an effort to help find her killer. Hopkins said when he sees Jasmine's face, he sees his own daughter. So I have a, a, a five-year-old daughter of mine, so, um, you know, that could have been anybody in that position uh, on this team. Could have been, you know, and anybody, uh, you know, who, who's in the city. Um, so yeah, it's just unfortunate. In his tweet, Hopkins also said he will play Saturday's playoff game against the Colts in Jasmine's honor. The community, family, and friends will say their final farewells to little Jasmine next Tuesday. Her funeral will be held at the Greenhouse International Church. A viewing will take place at 10 o'clock with the funeral set at noon. A balloon release will follow. We have extended coverage in the search for Jasmine's killer on our website. Click to Houston.com. There you can also get a closer look at the suspect's truck and the latest on the investigation.